Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm doing a Harry Potter collection tour, I guess you could say. This is basically a bookshelf tour for my Harry Potter bookshelf. So I do have four bookshelves and I will be doing tours for those as well. Well, the other three as well. I have my TBR shelf, which is here, and then I have my two red bookshelves, which are on this side of me. I will be doing a TBR bookshelf tour as well as a red bookshelf tour, just so the videos aren't too long. But I decided to do a dedicated Harry Potter collection tour, which does include everything on my Harry Potter bookshelf, as well as the Funkos that are on my red shelves, because I have a decent size collection, so I didn't want the video to be extremely long if I included this in either my TBR shelf tour or my red shelf tour. So that is what we are doing today. I have not, however, included a couple items, so I will link in the card as well as down below my recent Harry Potter pop culture haul. I have not included the items from there because I unboxed them in that haul and I haven't actually put any of them on my shelves yet. I simply don't have room. I am also planning on moving with by the end of the year. So anything Harry Potter-ish, I'm not gonna put on my bookshelves just yet because I have to rearrange nearly the entire thing to make new things fit. So at the moment, I'm not adding anything else to it. I will reorganize it when I move my bookshelves. So yes, I will link that video. That one includes all new Funko Pops. There is a mug and a couple other things as well. I'm also not including the full set of the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire 20th anniversary editions. 20th anniversary editions. That wasn't English. I've recently hauled them in a reading vlog. I will link it down below up the top as well. But that is just the full set. I have not put them on there again because of reorganization and they are currently boxed up with the packing still on them from when they got shipped. So I'm not opening all that just to get those ones out to show you, but I do have them. I'll put a photo on the screen of what those ones look like, just in case you're curious, but I do have the full set of those. So let's jump into it. I will start with my Harry Potter bookshelf moving from top to bottom, and then I'll quickly show you guys the Funkos that are spread throughout the rest of my red shelves. I am sorry if the footage is like a little bit shaky because I'm doing that bit by hand because there is only one or two per shelf so it's way too much effort setting up the tripod just for that so I'm doing that bit by hand. So yeah that's all you guys need to know let's jump in to the collection tour. So this is the very top shelf of my bookshelves but before I get into this I just want to show you the books that are up here that don't actually fit on my shelf. So this is the stack of books that sit up on the top so these are the Prisoner of Azkaban 20th anniversary editions in paperback in all four of the houses. Then we have these two movie scrapbooks. So we have the Diagon Alley one and the Hogwarts one. These are really, really pretty, but they also have like little pop out things in them. For example, this is like a map of Diagon Alley. So there's like little descriptions underneath of the different stores and such. So yeah, it's just a fun little book that goes along with the movies. Also above my shelf is just my wand boxes and also some posters that I took down from my room that I was planning on putting on the door next to these shelves. But I haven't ended up doing that yet because I'm now planning on moving at some point soon. So there's no point in putting them up and then I'm just gonna have to take them down again. So I'll quickly go through all the Funkos and ornaments that are on the shelves before I take them off and we can have a look at the books directly. So starting on the left hand side, first I have this Funko sitting in front because I don't have any other room for them. At the moment, my shelves are basically full of Funkos. So this is the Patronus Stag, which is Harry's Patronus. Then we have Ron Weasley in his Weasley jumper. Behind that, we have Ron with the Sorting Hat sitting on the stool. Then we have Harry from the first movie. He has Hedgewig and also is wearing a Gryffindor scarf. We have McGonagall. Then we have a Hufflepuff candle from A Court of Candles. I did get rid of all my other candles, except for a few of my Harry Potter shelves, mainly because I can use them for this reason. So I can stick a candle here and put a Funko up on top. So that way their heads aren't in line so I can fit more on the shelves. So I would have gotten rid of these candles. They are very old and they're very gross looking now and I wouldn't actually burn them, but they help for me to fit more Funkos on my shelves. So on top of the Hufflepuff candle, we have Cedric Diggory in his Triwizard Tournament outfit. Then we have Mad-Eye Moody. Next we have Harry in his Triwizard Tournament outfit. We have another Accord of Candles Slytherin candle this time with Draco Malfoy with his Quidditch uniform and broomstick. Then in front we have the Otter Patronus, which is Hermione's Patronus. Again, doesn't fit with the rest of them. Then we have a Hermione five star figure. So these are little tiny ones 
ones. She came with a little book, which is Hogwarts uh, History, and also a little tiny feather. Then we have Filch with Mrs. Norris. Then we have a little um, McGonagall in cat form just here, and behind her is Hermione with the sorting hat sitting on the stool. So now on top of those books, again, starting left from right, we have Lucius Malfoy with the Death Eater mask on. We have Harry with a broomstick. We have Voldemort, which is just the standard Voldemort. We have Nearly Headless Nick, which is a glow-in-the-dark Funko. Then we have Snape wearing the Boggart outfit. And we have Ginny, whose wand has broken, which I'm very sad about, but I dropped her and her wand broke. Then we have the Dumbledore five-star figure. Dumbledore came with himself, his wand, which is in his hand, and also Forks the Phoenix, which is sitting over here. Then we have Neville carrying Trevor the Toad. We have Igor Karkarov from Goblet of Fire. And then we have Voldemort with Nagini around his shoulders. So now onto the books. Now this one here, I will not be getting out right this second. I will do a close up of it at um, later, but this is the Art of Hogwarts book. Um, this is just a heap of artwork based in the Harry Potter world put into a book. Some of it's based on the movie, some of it is new creations that never made it into the movies, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This is probably one of the most expensive books on my shelf and it is absolutely stunning. This is like a coffee table book, which is why it is huge. I had to move this shelf down so that way I could actually fit this book in here. So first we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the original US paperback. Then we have this box set, which I'll just move the camera over. So this is the box that it comes in. This is just empty. Um, and these are the books that come in the box. These are a US edition and they are absolutely stunning. Obviously you can see the Hogwarts castle in the spine of the book. So obviously we have Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and finally Deathly Hallows. So this is the front of the box and I'll just quickly show you the sides. So that's what the side looks like. I'm sorry about the glare. And then the other side has the Hogwarts Express on it. Oh, there we go. You see it without the glare on it. Next to the box set, we have the collector's gift edition, I think they are called, of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So this is a boxed version. Let's see if I can get it out. It's a bit tight. There we go. So this is what the front of the box looks like. The back of the box has Hedwig carrying a letter. And then the book itself has Hedwig on it and it is orange. Um, the back doesn't have anything on it and it does have a ribbon bookmark. So next we have the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 20th Anniversary Hardcover Editions. Obviously we have the Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Then we also have the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 20th Anniversary Paperback Editions with Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. And also just here I have hanging a... Deathly Hallows, which the circle in the middle actually spins, which I think is awesome. And speaking of jewelry, on the other side, I have the Slytherin locket. It is attached, I'm not gonna pull it off, um, but this is just a cheap replica. It's not um, anything expensive. This is just a knockoff. Now, moving down to the second shelf, this is how it looks all together. So we'll zoom in and do the Funkos, but also I just wanted to show, I do have a set of Harry Potter glasses sitting at the front here, as well as a Gryffindor sword, which is a um, envelope opener. So first for Funkos over this side, I do have the two Weasley twins. Let's get them out so you can see them. They look basically identical, except for the hair. Um, these, every single one on this shelf is from the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire um, Yule Ball set. So these are all Yule Ball outfits, so I'm not going to mention that every time. So next we have Pavati Patil and Harry who went together to the Yule Ball. We have Fleur Delacour who we don't have a partner for her, they never made her partner, but I think he was only seen very, very briefly in the movie, so understandable. Um, she is on a Herbology candle from A Court of Candles. Then we have Victor Crumb and Hermione. In the front here, I have a little Grindelow. This was out of a three pack, which the other ones are down on the lower shelves. Then we have Ginny Weasley, who again, doesn't have a partner. They never made a Neville um, Funko for this set, so Ginny is by herself. Then we have Cedric and Cho, followed by Ron and Padma Patil. Then in the corner, we have Professor McGonagall and then Snape here on the edge. So first on the left, I have the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone 20th anniversary editions in hardcover. Obviously Hufflepuff, 
Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Then I have the 20th anniversary editions in paperback of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. Next I have the Hogwarts Library box set. So this has three books in it. I'm holding onto these because they're very thin and fall over. So first we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Quidditch Through the Ages. I believe these are a US box set for these and the covers are absolutely gorgeous. Like they're just absolutely stunning. And also that's what the spine of the box set looks like. It's got the three titles, JK Rowling, Wizarding World. Um, even the book box itself is gorgeous. It even has a logo at the bottom for Hogwarts Library. It's everything is stunning about this edition. Now laying on the top of these books, first I have a Tom Riddle's Diary um, notebook. It's like just a cheap replica. It came in a um, subscription box. It's just got Tom Mavalo Riddle on that side and then like a very hard to see meant to be where the book was stabbed by the Basilisk Fang on the back, but it's just a plain papered book. It's not even lined. Then also on top, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in the special gift edition box set. This one, obviously it has the same image on the front, but the back has Dobby rather than Hedgewig like the first book does. And, oop, that's the back. <laughs> um, then we have Dobby on the actual hardcover as well. And it's this really vibrant green and again has a ribbon bookmark. So next we have the Harry Potter set. This is the UK paperbacks that came out a couple years ago by Bloomsbury. These ones are the most common ones you can find in Australian bookshops. So we have Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Then next to those we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban with the 20th anniversary hardcover edition. Obviously we have Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. So next to those we have the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and the Crimes of Grindelwald, original screenplays. These are absolutely gorgeous additions. I just love the artwork on these and inside these. They are just stunning. Then we have another Hogwarts library set. These ones aren't a box set. I bought these individually, but we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Quidditch Through the Ages, and The Tales of Beetle the Bard. These are a UK Bloomsbury edition. And also these are the only ones of these editions I think that come with dust jackets. All the other ones um, are just straight hardcovers by themselves. These ones do have dust jackets, so I like that it makes it a little bit different. So there's all the books on this shelf, now moving on to the next one. Okay, so now we're on the third shelf, which is also the middle shelf. So this is what it looks like all together. Now let's zoom in and have a look at what is actually on the shelf. First, I will just mention that I do have this replica of the Blood Pact from Crimes of Grindelwald. So firstly, for Funkos, we have Fleur Delacour. Um, I actually have her blue tacked down because even with her stand, she just falls over constantly. So she is blue tacked here. Then we have Fred and George Weasley with their Weasley Wizard Weezers products. Then we have Professor Trelawney, Nymphadora Tonks, Hermione in her half cat form from the Polyjuice Potion. Um, we have Professor Quirrell, which is actually a really cool Funko. So this is what he looks like from the, the front and the hat actually pops off. And on the back is Lord Voldemort's head, which I think is awesome. You can also see it. I don't got it the wrong way. You can also just see it poking through at the back when the um, turban is on as well. I think this is a really cool idea of a Funko. Then we have Hermione Brewing Polyjuice Potion, which is another really, really cool Funko. I love the detail in this one. I love that she's stinged down, which a lot of Funkos aren't. And I also love that this little cauldron in the front actually comes off as well. It's a second piece. Then we have Moaning Myrtle, who was on a happy birthday candle. Also, by the way, um, Hermione is on a butterbeer ice cream candle, both from A Court of Candles. Then in the corner, we have Harry with the Triwizard Tournament egg. Then we have a Dumbledore sitting in the front. And then right over on this edge, we have a Mandrake and also a Dobby. So the Mandrake is in the same set as the Grindelo, which I showed before. Dobby is a keychain Funko that I've taken the keychain out of. Also on the front, I have this little container of jelly beans with the Weasley Wizard Weezers logo on the front of it. And also a Gringotts Vault key, which is very detailed and very pretty. It is rather large for a key, but it is very nice. Now up on top of these books, these are a little bit dark just because my light doesn't quite get in there very well. But we have a set here. These are Harry, Ron and Hermione in their Mandrake 
attire, I guess, each hand holding mandrakes and have the earmuffs on. And each of the mandrakes actually has a different facial expression, which I think is a nice detail. They didn't just put the exact same mandrake for all of them. Then we have Harry with his broken arm from Chamber of Secrets in his pajamas. Then we have Ginny with the Tom Riddle's diary. We have Ron with a howler. And up in the corner, we have Harry in his Quidditch uniform holding his... Nimbus 2000. Also over in the left corner we have this um, Triwizard Tournament egg uh, replica. It is just got some designs around the outside. There is an owl on top. It is very pretty. It does not open. It is just solid but it sits in front of the illustrated editions. So first on the left of this shelf, we have the Harry Potter illustrated edition. So these are all the ones that are currently out. We have Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblet of Fire. Next to the illustrated editions, we have the original UK paperback special editions, I believe they are called. These ones have foiling on them compared to, you can see the normal ones there. They don't have foiling. These ones do have foiling on them and there are different designs slightly on the front with the same image. So firstly, we have Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. So next to those, we have some of the original UK and Australia hardcovers of the series. I do not have any of the first four books, unfortunately. I haven't been able to find them in good condition. But these are the ones I have. So we have Order of the Phoenix. We have a Australian first edition and a UK first edition. Then we have Half-Blood Prince, which is a UK first edition. Then Deathly Hallows, which is an Australian first edition. Next to that, we have this copy of The Tales of Beetle the Bard. I do not have the rest in this set. I don't even know if they come in a set. Um, but this one I got through Facebook. It does need a clean. It is very dirty and I need to sit down and give it a proper clean. Then we have the UK Hogwarts Library box set, again with the three books in it. So we have Quidditch Through the Ages, The Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find. Then in this corner we have some of my bigger books. So we have Harry Potter, A History of Magic. This was a 20th anniversary edition, I believe two years ago, I think. Um, and this goes along with the collection of Harry Potter related stuff in the um, British Library. Then we have Harry Potter, A Journey Through A History of Magic. This is a paperback, again, a 20th anniversary release that came out from the British Library. Then we have this illustrated edition of the Tales of Beetle the Bard, illustrated by Chris Riddle. Then we have Harry Potter, the Character Vault, which is related to all the characters in the book, some descriptions about them, a bit of information about um, costumes and stuff from the movie. Um, very movie-based, not book-based, but it is an interesting read and it's very pretty as well. Then lastly, we have Harry Potter. This is a Hogwarts a Cinematic Yearbook, um, which it uses an interactive type thing where you can put pictures in, you can do drawings, yeah, you can do a family tree, um, your house, who's your header's house, draw your head of house, there's some postcards in here, there's stickers in here somewhere as well, um, they have questions you can answer, there's some prints that you can cut out and put on your wall, and there's also just some information about um, the Hogwarts movies as well. And also, because I forgot to say before, these are obviously illustrated by Jim McKay, um, but I just want to mention that. Now, moving down to the fourth shelf, which is... There goes Dobby. So now moving on to the fourth shelf, which is the second last shelf. Um, this is the last of the shelves that was directly Harry Potter related. The next one is specifically Funkos from Fantastic Beasts. So this is an overview of what it looks like. Um, I will just quickly talk about these as I will not be moving these shoes or this book here. Um, so these are the Harry Potter, I'll grab one out. Um, the Harry Potter Cross Vans Gryffindor High Tops. I do not actually wear these. I have worn them a couple times, but I in general don't wear them. So I have them displayed on my shelves. Um, they're obviously red and gold and black and have the Hogwarts logo just here. They're also checkered on the inside with the Harry Potter Cross Vans logo. And there's a maroon and yellow Vans logo there. The bottoms are just plain, but... They are gorgeous and I have to have them displayed on my shelf. And I will not be moving this book just here, just as the shoes are sitting on it. So this is the Harry Potter Exploring Hogwarts, an illustrated guide. Um, this is just like a cute little picture book of different aspects of the Hogwarts castle. So firstly, up the top here, we have Fred, George and Ginny. These are all wearing their Quidditch World Cup outfits. So first here we have Luna with her lion headdress and this is on 
a uh, fragrant fables candle which is called muggle worthy which is obviously fantastic beast themed again i'm using them for height behind luna is both ron and Ginny on their broomsticks um neither of these sit on their broomsticks too well so i will not be moving them too far and I definitely won't be picking them up. I just kind of slide them around because they just fall off instantly. Then next that we have Luna. Next we have Hermione, which is standing on a, another Fragrant Fables candle. This one is the Kowalski's Bakery candle. Then we have Sirius Black. Then we have a Rock Candy of Newt Scamander. Then we have Tom Riddle. Next we have Harry. This was with the Marauder's Map from Prisoner of Azkaban. I'll just move this one out of the road for a second. Then we have Remus Lupin, the Bloody Baron who does actually have blood going down his neck there. Then in the corner we have the Rita Skeeter Funko and the Albus Dumbledore from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, um, Rock Candy. And then on the end here we have Ron with Scabbers. Now the one that I picked up from in front this is another A Court of Candles. This is the Ravenclaw one. If I get to focus, there we go. That's what the candle looks like. And on top of that, I have the Pixie out of the three pack I mentioned before that includes the Mandrake and the Grindelow. Um, it is blue tacked on here because it does not stand up by itself at all. Then in front here, we have a Dumbledore's Army coin. I believe this is from Fairy Looch. I think. Um, if not, I will leave it linked down below. But yeah, here it is close up. So it's a galleon on the back and a Dumbledore's army on the front. Then we have the Marvolo family ring, um, which is obviously a Slytherin heirloom. And it is just a basic replica. I think this was off AliExpress or Wish. It is definitely not a real one. Um, and there's no Deathly Hallow symbol in the stone. It's just plain black. Oh, and quickly in the front, we also have this set of coins from Gringotts. We have a galleon, a sickle, and a canut. And they are just little... Whoop, there goes one of them. Um, they're just little basic coins. I believe these were also off um, Wish or AliExpress. So the first two books I have on the shelf are Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Illustrated Editions. Um, this one here is the UK edition and I also have the US edition. They have different covers and different animals on the cover. Then we have Calling All Witches. This is just information about some of the females from the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts world that are badasses basically. So it says here the girls who left their mark on the wizarding world. Then I have three editions of the original UK paperback or Australian paperback um, sets. So two of these are exactly the same except for the different editions. So you can tell by the spines and also on the back, these two have the different wizard. So these were released originally and then they remade them to have a wizard that actually resembled Dumbledore. Um, this was just a random wizard, I believe. And then obviously we have Dumbledore with the Illuminator on this one. None of these, I believe, are low or anything extraordinary editions. This is a UK 46th edition. This is the one with the Dumbledore on the back. And then these two are a UK 14th and a UK 18th editions. Now I'll show you these two with the spine first. As you can see, an obvious difference. I'm not sure why these are different. So these are both Australian editions. The one with the blue spine was printed by McPherson Press and the one with the green spine was written by Australia Print Group. That is the only difference. Um, they're obviously different numbered editions but besides that they're both Australian. I don't know why they have different coloured spines. Then we have Prisoner of Azkaban and this is an Australian first edition. Then we have A Goblet of Fire which is also an Australian first edition. Then we have Half-Blood Prince. This is a UK sixth edition and it is also the only book I've seen that has a image of J.K. Rowling inside the uh, uh, cover of the book. Then we have Deathly Hallows. This one is a second edition, but this one was printed in Suffolk and not um, like the Great Britain like it usually says. So I don't believe this is an original um, UK paperback. I think this was printed later on. And also, I don't know if you guys have experienced this before, but some of these original ones and the also the special editions with the shiny uh, metallic detailing on them they have really, really thin pages. And that's what this one has. It's like, not to be offensive, but Bible thin pages, um, which is a saying, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but that's a saying here in Australia. Um, but yeah, this, the pages in this are so thin, they feel like tissue paper. And then lastly on this shelf, this is over in the far corner. This is a notebook. This is The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. This is just a lined notebook. It does have gorgeous illustrations on the end papers. And on the back, it actually has reviews written as if this was The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore 
Dumbledore, but this was a Lip Joy Crate exclusive and the design and illustration is by Holly Dunn Designs. This is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the very last shelf. So firstly, I just want to talk about these bookmarks that run across here. So all of these are from Designs by Thea. I will link them down below. I think they are still operating. These are all from Harry Potter sets. There was a Harry Potter teacher set. There was the Golden Trio or... I don't think it was a golden tree. I think it came with five, but it was like the main five. And then there was a pack with some others. There is some missing. I know I have one in a book somewhere, but these are the ones that I currently have on here. I do also have other bookmarks by Designs by Thea, but they're not Harry Potter related. And also before I start talking about this shelf, I just want to briefly talk about this one just here, which has nothing really decorative on it, but it does have some Harry Potter things on it that I just have stored down here. So first we have this little printout, which is a Ministry of Magic um, ID card type thing. You photoshopped your, um, this was my profile picture at the time, into it and um, your height, your eye color, blah, blah, blah. And printed it out and it was like just a little fun thing. I used to have it sitting on my wall. Then we have this notebook, which I believe came in a YA Chronicles, I think think. Um, but this is the Book of Magical Thinking and it is just a lined notebook. And this is by Literary Emporium as well. Then I have two Hogwarts letters. I don't remember who these are from. I think it's Litjoy. I think. But I will leave it linked down below. But yeah, so it looks like this on the front. It has the Hogwarts logo on the back. So it comes with a blank letter. You can enter someone's name in here. And then it also comes with a... Um, school books list, things you need list. Then I have two quibblers. These were printouts. I found these online. They were like a free download and you just printed them out, stuck the pages together, put this little black border on there and that was it. Half that you can't read. It's not the best quality printing, but these are really cool props and there is actually some pretty interesting stuff in here that you could read. There's also like word finds and um, crosswords and stuff like that in here. So this just little fun. I don't use them too often, but yeah, I did these ages and ages and ages ago. Also down here, we have the Shelf of Shame, which includes Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. That's all you're seeing of that. So now onto the Funkos on this shelf. So I do actually have two rows of them. You can see there's more back there. So I'll talk about the front row and then I'll take those off and talk about the second row. So first we have Jacob from the Fantastic Beasts collection. We have Madam President from the Fantastic Beasts collection. We have a Newt Scamander. I believe this was from the Crimes of Grindelwald. I don't think Pickett, whoops, I don't think Pickett came with him. Pickett was with the other Newt that's out the back, but I have him sitting there because he's cute and I wanted him at the front. He's also fucking falling over. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. She's currently rubbing up against the tripod. Um, then we have Nakini from Crimes of Grindelwald. We also have, I believe this is the Grindelwald from Fantastic Beasts. The one from Crimes of Grindelwald is back there. Then we have Albus Dumbledore from Crimes of Grindelwald. We have Newt Scamander with the silver Ockamy egg from Fantastic Beasts. We have a Niffler, and then I also have a little Niffler, which used to be a keychain. I took the keychain off him, and he is sitting on the head of the big Niffler. And that's a cattail. So first in the back row, we have Tina Goldstein from the Fantastic Beasts collection. We have Newt Scamander with his case from the Fantastic Beasts collection. We have a Demiguise. We have Grindelwald from the Crimes of Grindelwald collection. We have Newt Scamander from the Crimes of Grindelwald collection. This is the one that's meant to come with Pickett. And then we have Queenie. Now at the back, we have this set of notebooks. So there is four here, but these have just got designs on the front from different locations. So this one has Hogwarts. The blue one has Diagon Alley. The green one has the Forbidden Forest. And the red one has Hagrid's Hut. These are just plain notebooks. They're just lined paper. There is nothing special on the inside at all. Um, yeah, these are just clock bound notebooks. I believe I bought these from Typo and they came in a set. Actually, the box is right here. Comes in a set like this. These are special edition collector's notebook set. Then in the back corner, we have this Harry Potter Lego set. So this is the Quidditch field, obviously. We have a tower for each of the houses. It also comes, comes with some characters like Hermione, Harry. Um, this is just a random person. I don't know who that meant to be. Snape. And then there's two random Slytherins. And sitting next to that, I have this envelope. This has a seal on it, which has an F and a W over it. And this Oh, I hate getting this open. I wish they wouldn't actually stick these down. It'd be greatly appreciated because then you don't fucking destroy them. 
when you get them. So this is a invitation to Bill and Fleur's wedding. So it has this rollers gold filigree around the outside and it says, Mr. and Mrs. Weasley request the honor of your presence at the marriage of Fleur Isabel Delacour to their son, William Arthur Weasley, Friday the 1st of August, 1997 at six o'clock, the borough, Devon, England. So this is just a little replica. This is gorgeous. Again, I wish they wouldn't actually stick these down because then you end up wrecking the envelope trying to get them open. Like it doesn't ruin anything if the, the wax seal isn't actually stuck. We actually did something very similar to this in a recent The Medoran Chronicles themed crate and we did not stick this down. I actually had plastic under here so that way this just sits like that and then you can easily open it. Tips please. Subscription boxes, don't do it. So now moving on to the Fantastic Beasts slash Harry Potter Funkos that I have on the rest of my shelves. I'm just going to go through this quickly. Excuse the dust. I will be dusting these shelves before I do my full bookshelf tour, but I am not doing it right now. So first we have Nagini. Then we have Sirius Black in his Animagus form. Then we have this little replica of the Ford Anglia from the Chamber of Secrets. Then we have Pickett the Bow Truckle. Then we have a Baby Niffler. Up the top here, I also have a Chupacabra. So up the back of this shelf, I do have some of my Harry Potter mugs. So I'll just bring them out quickly. So this one here is a Hogwarts or Harry Potter camping trip. This is them camped in the Forest of Dean, I believe. I believe this was from Litjoy Crate. Then we have two of the Kara Kozik uh, mugs that come out with our crate. We have the one that is at Hagrid's Hut. And it has the Unicorn, a Centaur, the Ford Anglia. Then we have the Prisoner of Azkaban one, which has the Night Bus. There is Hogwarts in the background, the Whomping Willow, Scabbers, Dementors, Harry and the Patronus. Now along here I have these little tiny Funkos. I will go through them but these are from, they also continue down to the next shelf as you can see they're everywhere. These were from the advent calendars. This was 2019's and the ones down below were from 2018. So really quickly we have Hagrid, Fred or George, not sure which one, Cedric, Draco, Madame Maxine, Ron, Filch, Crumb, Ginny, Padma and Pavadi, Moody, Dumbledore, the other Weasley twin, Snape, who doesn't stand up, so he's on his head, Harry, Hermione, this was one of the exclusives. They do not have a full-size Funko of this one. Um, this is her dancing. Um, then we have McGonagall, Fleur, Neville, Igor Karkarov, Cho, and also Ron that doesn't stand up. So back over here, we have Madame Maxime. This was an exclusive convention center or something like that. We have the other baby Niffler. This was in the two pack with the one that was on the shelf above. Then we have Gilderoy Lockhart and the, I believe this is another Comic-Con exclusive, the Flocked Forks. Down here we have a Matagot, and then we have the next lot of the Little Funkos. So again, quickly, we have Ginny, Dobby, Crookshanks, uh, who's that? Fred, Harry, Moaning Myrtle, Hedwig, Snape, Ron, Harry, Neville, Luna, a Thestral that's falling over, McGonagall, Draco, oops, there it goes. Draco, Hermione, Lupin, George, Harry, Hagrid, Ron, Hermione, Nearly Headless Nick, and Dumbledore. Down on this shelf, we have a Zowu, we have Hedwig, and then we have a Thestral here at the end. Right down on this bottom shelf, we have this little jar that has some wands. These were like a little mystery mini. These are actually metal. That's why they're making such a noise in there. Then at the back there, we have Harry going through the nine and three quarters turn uh, brick wall at what's it called? King's Cross Station. Then we have Ron on the horse, which is the chess set. Now back to the top shelf of the next one, we have an augury. Then next shelf we have Bellatrix Lestrange. Then next shelf we have a Fwoopa and a Mooncalf. There is no Harry Potter Pops on the next one, but on this bottom shelf we have the flocked a hippogriff. So this is Buckbeak. We have Fang who came with this Hagrid's hut house, which is really cute. And then I have my Hagrid and then creepily over in the corner there, that's quite appropriate, is the basilisk. <laughs> Eyes glowing in the corner. I did not intend to do that on purpose. That's just how it happened. So that is all the items on my Harry Potter collection tour. I do also have some other things like t-shirts and bookmarks. I have not included all the bookmarks because I have an entire box of them. But that was all the books and Funkos and memorabilia and stuff that I have on my shelves. I'll hopefully be coming very soon with a video of my red bookshelf tour and my TBR bookshelf tour. Hopefully soon. This is a bit of a mess, and but I have no other space, so I have too many books to fit on this. 
So it's going to be a little bit of a mess, but we're just going to get over it, okay? Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.